It is raining. Or it's supposed to be raining. <laughs> and we are falling in love all over again. And we don't even know. <laughs> love is like Texas weather. Unpredictable. And inevitable for us. And today, we are two teardrops rolling from God's eye. Gravity is greedy. It pulls us into each other, makes us fall in love so fast that we look forward to forever. Tonight, shooting stars will look down and wish upon us. And we will cultivate that nourishing kind of love, the type of love everyone in the room can feel, receive, and share. Love, I have hidden parts of you in my soul, stored you there to nurture me, to drink during droughts when times are difficult. We are dating long distance. Your voice is a fond memory for me. You have sunken inside of me, and now I am a saturated spirit, drunken off the love, and now. <laughs> and now. <laughs> and now it is coming from my pores. You know, I have to ask myself, what good thing have I done to be deserving of a love that causes the heavens to cry? You, you are a gift from up above, a virtuous one, a harvest under an October moon. And today, I will become your husband. And he who find up a wife find up a good thing. And we will become like each other, you and me, hit up each other's way. One crow will dance across both of our eyes, old and gray, a wise mirror. You are reminding me to love myself. See in me what you see in me. And I reflect you too. Together, we reflect God, a trifecta. Facing this world with love and logic and a pocket full of dreams and a life to invest them in, so full of love that we are bursting. A salty sweat on my skin there is, I am so nervous. A tear from your eye, Sweet with longing like a dewdrop, eager to evaporate and meet each other in the air and bomb. Ready to give all of ourselves just to show how it feels to love someone in spirit, like an out-of-body experience. How it feels to float and feel weightless, as magnificent and as beautiful as a rain cloud, and be committed long after the weightless feeling has been lost and we are heavy and pregnant with light and all of the storms that it brings. And when this land darkens and the hurricane comes and the trees lean and give way to the swirling wind, the sky will make way for us and I will not leave you. I will store storm water in my palms for you to drink, fall, and crack my hull open for you. Sometimes love means the wind will call for us and test our endurance. See how many falls it takes to jostle us with our bodies and our spirits knowing only response in the world watching us in awe as we tumble so graceful, ready to give ourselves to the action of loving because we know that falling in love is the same as rain or potion and watering the earth with all of itself, preserving nothing. When it seems like the sky is collapsing, there is no place I would rather be than wrapped around you. And when our chests are too swollen to contain our desire, we will burst, fall and make love across this earth, pour ourselves into everything and watch it grow. And this cycle will never stop, I pray. Loving the way water loves the earth. We are raining, falling in love all over again. And we don't even know. We have come together today in the presence of God to celebrate the union of Adam Woodward and Aaron Brown in marriage. So, now what I would like to do is ask you a few questions. It's only one answer. <laughs> Adam and Aaron, have you come here by faith and will you give yourselves faithfully and without reservation to each other in marriage? Will you love and... <laughs> I will take that. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> thank you. Will you love, honor, and believe the best in each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Please face each other. She's much prettier than I am. <laughs> Adam, will you repeat after me? 
Okay. I, Adam. I, Adam. Take you, Aaron. Take you, Aaron. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Now, Aaron, will you repeat after me? I, Aaron, take you, Adam, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you honor you all the days of my life. Would you please take your rings from your best man? <laughs> Adam, will you place your ring on Aaron's finger? Now, Aaron, will you place uh, your finger on Adam's or your, your ring on Adam's <laughs> Please put it on his finger. as much as you and Adam, Aaron, have openly pledged yourselves to be one another in love and faithfulness in the presence of God, and before these witnesses, and having confirmed these by giving each other and receiving of rings, I, as a minister of the gospel of Christ, pronounce you husband and wife. It is my great pleasure to present to you for the first time, Mr. Adam and Aaron Ortwine.
Mr. and Mrs. Adam and Aaron. One of the most important aspects, I think, of marriage are the qualities that each person brings to the table. And when I was thinking about it for these two, I actually had a lot of trouble <clears throat> narrowing down my list because they have so many wonderful qualities between the two of them. But I'd like to share a few that stand out in my mind. First, these two have incredible selfless generosity. Um, but they, they always say, you know, what, what's mine is yours. Well, these two took that literally. I got to know Adam because we were both working together and we were studying for our architecture exams at the same time, we were study buddies. And at the time, I had a long train commute, and I didn't have an easy way to really study. He had an extra iPad that he gave to me so I could study on the train. And I still remember that to this day, that one act of generosity. It's, I mean, most friends don't do that for other people, and it was just amazing. These two both show a lot of material and emotional generosity, whether it's friends or family or strangers. They welcome you into their home, and they treat you like one of their own. So cheers to Adam and Aaron. Um, I have known Adam and Aaron for quite a long time, um, but I really don't think that you have to know them that long to see the qualities that Justin has just spoke about. It's pretty obvious that they're just great together, and we love them. You can see it all over this wedding, too. Like, they, they really care about everybody having a good time, so let's cheers, and everybody just have a great time tonight because that's the best way to show that you love them. Love, love, love me because we know it's true. And I'll love you even if you're feeling blue As the night finds the morning and the sun finds the moon Love will find a way to say I do Say I do Picnic basket on your own I'll win you over with my charm This I know At least I hope and love, love, love me Cause we know it's true And I'll love you even if you're feeling blue As the night finds the morning and the sun finds the moon
do Love you. We love you guys. We love you all.